G'day, this is Tomo. This is Adam Mad Dog McDougal. We're here for the weekly Man Shake video blog. This week, we're talking protein shakes. And yes, we make a meal replacement shake that's got loads of protein in it, but there's a lot of myths, there's a lot of mistakes that people make when they're choosing a protein shake. Yeah, look, it's confusing. I suppose uh, the biggest tip I give to guys is buy Australian made. You know, um, there's a lot of American products out there and they make claims and unfortunately they don't have the same laws and regulations and standards we do here in Australia. Australian products are made under the strictest and most far up standards in the world. We have the best cows in the world as well. Australia and New Zealand, the best dairy. The, the products from America, they come from some really dodgy places. The cows aren't, they're grain fed cows. Ours are grass fed. Um, you know, so stick to Australian, that's my number one tip. And when you're going for a protein product as well, make sure that you read the ingredients on it as well because proteins aren't just proteins. You know, they fill them with some cheap, nasty proteins, soy, um, you know, there's some really crappy protein out there as well. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a big thing. Not all protein is built the same, is it? No, it's not. When you're going for a protein shake, make sure you get a nice blend of proteins. You just don't want one single type of protein. So right. there's a number of different types of protein. They digest at a different rate. So essentially, you've got hydrolyzed whey protein, which is a real fast-acting protein, which is good straight after you train. However, it's not real practical at another time when you just need sustained, slow-releasing protein. So mm -hmm. you've got whey protein concentrate and you've got uh, mycin, casein as well, which is a good form of protein. So you want a blended protein product, one that's got all three in it. And um, for me, you know, you just don't want protein as well. You know, if you can, and I, I'm obviously biased, but that's why I created the Man Shake, because it's more than just a protein shake. You need some carbohydrates in there to help you digest that protein and assimilate it the best way in your body. You also want fiber, you want vitamins, and you want minerals. A protein shake is only one part of the macronutrient requirement of the human body. We actually need carbohydrates, we need fats, and we need fiber, hence why it's a healthy meal in the shake. The other big red flag, especially when you buy the ready-to-drink protein yep. uh, drinks that you can get off the shelf, yep. is a lot of them are actually really high in sugar, aren't they? Very high in sugar, and you know, once again, crappy protein. Mm. Let's be honest. A lot of them use second-class proteins, incomplete proteins, and unfortunately, a lot of the American products actually are spiked with amino acids. Mm. So what that means is they actually get their uh, protein content from putting in incomplete proteins into their product. It's a huge scam in America. Companies just been fined tens of millions of dollars for saying that a protein bar had 30 grams of protein, but it had four grams of usable protein. So let's remember, when you have protein, it doesn't mean that your body's going to be able to use that. It depends on the quality of protein and how effectively your body can break that down. So the most highly absorbed form of protein is eggs. Hence, in its complete form, an egg has a huge high biological value and your, able, your body's able to digest it very effectively. And whey protein is also a very high form of digestible protein. But some of the other forms that you find in breakfast cereals, you find in breads, and you find in foods that are fortified that are high protein, your body can't use it. Well, there you go. I hope that's made it a little bit easier for you to understand with protein shakes. And if you just want a safe option, grab yourself some handshake. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time.